theater inside of the Aria. Okay, that's maybe a couple of thousand seats on its best day. Okay, maybe. It's nice. It's a reputable place. It's a nice hotel to hold the fight at. And 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 Lee, pound for pound, Vasily's late described as. And where did they hold that fight? Yeah, Vasily Lomachenko. It was held at the Ar. It was held at the Aria inside of a small theater inside of the Aria. It's really small. It's where they hold uh, basically the Friday night fights before a big event. With Vasily Lomachenko who is arguably in his weight class a triple G level fighter. Is that a fair statement? Um, No, because he lost to someone in the weight division, and he hasn't it rematched him. So there's a big issue with <laughs> with calling Vasily Lomachenko the best fighter in the world, damn it. Why don't be, this is the IQ I'm talking about. If you have simple boxing knowledge, the fact that, that that Lomachenko lost to Salido and hasn't rematched him doesn't make him better than a man who's been undefeated his whole career and has fought in twice as many champions and has twice as many title defenses. You people, this is the IQ what I'm talking about. In 2017, we need to weed them out. We need to get these guys out. The reporters, everyone, somebody needs to start pushing on these promoters. I can't wait till one man comes back. I'll tell you. Someone needs to get at the promoters and tell them that the numbers aren't good. The numbers, someone in the pay-per-view, somebody needs to get at these guys and show them how to create stars in this sport because they're missing it right now. Triple G, you can say all you want about him. Does he have a pay-per-view buy? No. How long has he been champion? A decade. How many title defenses does he have? I don't know, 20, 18? How many pay-per-view so, buys? Yeah, I agree. And it all goes back, and, and let's be honest, this all goes back to a year ago when Mark Taffet resigned over at HBO. That's the yes. reality. We're now seeing what happens at HBO when it's a corporate decision, when everybody wants to get out of town. That's they why knew I'm that nervous. the writing was on the I'm wall. I'm nervous. I, I'm hoping HBO stays with the sport, Lee. HBO? HBO is the new PBC. That's, They're going to look That's what I mean. Pay- everybody... Everybody has a piece of this pie on why this sport is at where it's at right now. HBO not having the guy, Showtime not having the guy in place to get the fights on their networks, right? They couldn't work out a deal. HBO can't work with Al Heyman. That's another problem. The promoters, Golden Boy and Al Heyman's beef, got to quit. Richard Schaefer's now with Al Heyman. You know damn well, is he working with De La Hoya? Are you really going to see these two on the stage shaking hands and smiling? I think not. I don't think Oscar De La Hoya is working with Richard Schaefer. I might be wrong, but, I, but this is a man who he's suing for trying to steal his company. Does anyone see? No one gets that? No one sees that? Like, how are these two going to work? This is hurting the sport. One of them's got to go. One of these people, the PBC, Golden Boy, if they can't come to an agreement and start getting these fights back on network television and all you PBC fans, you guys quit because the evidence is out and it ain't fucking working. And, and that PBC funny money that Al Heyman's been paying all the fighters with, I, I love that all you guys are making money. I love that. You guys are all financially... Uh, good now for the rest of your life. Great. But that funny money is what's ruining this sport too. Way too much paying guys to fight people that that nobody cares about. No, I. What's the last time I had a party for a PBC fight? I don't think I ever have, Lee. I really don't. I don't think there's ever been an interest where all the 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 um the fans were calling me, going, "Oh, are you you gonna watch the fight?" What are we going to do? We're in barbecue? You want me to bring a six-pack? Nothing. They don't deliver it. Maybe Thurman uh, Garcia will do it. Maybe. I don't know. And maybe it does uh, decent numbers, like a real fight live sporting event should do. Don't get happy because they do one to three million when all the other sports are killing that. The freaking horses got 11 million views. The horses. They run in a circle. Yeah. I'm telling you. I, look it. I love this sport, Lee. This is why this is why you're we're having this show today. Seriously, wake up. I hope they all did. 
I hope I hope everybody watched what happened to Andre Ward Kovalev and go, damn, they took a long time to build that fight. And did it pay out? I don't think so. Not what build up though. Leave Andre okay. Ward's been a champion. Wait, I'm gonna for be honest. Years. I'm gonna be honest. Do you watch ESPN? Uh yes, okay. on football season. Okay, okay, Raiders okay. Be be one hundred percent honest. Be one hundred percent honest. Yeah. Did you hear more about Goldberg versus Lesnar? Oh yeah. Or did of you hear more about Lee, Ward Kovalev? Lee, they're they're not doing numbers. The the you don't think ESPN right. seen that Kovalev and, and and Ward wasn't even getting more more shares or, right. or hits right. than than the There's MMA chicks really just saying they here. wanted to fight? You had Cyborg just saying she wanted to fight. She got 120,000 shares. Now, Ward Kovalev was like on, on 10,000. Yeah. Yeah, it's obvious. That is very brutally honest. Vasily Lomachenko is not the best fighter in the world. He's a great fighter. What he did Saturday was awesome. He put, he, he, he put hands on that man, and Nicholas Walters... Just he just checked out. He got three hundred thousand, whatever they said he got paid, and he walked away. Okay, this guy that oh, didn't Nicholas have Walter this got is paid. a guy who didn't have that much discipline in his last fight when he came in heavy. Hello, let's give him the biggest check of his life in his next one. Let's see how he responds to that, Jack. I quit. Why shouldn't he? He lost. That's what everyone says. See, this is the problem. See, when I talk like this about the quality of fight not being as good as it used to be and how fighters need to stop taking all these freaking diets and stop doing yoga and stop doing little sprints with rubber bands on your feet or whatever the fuck you guys are doing out there in the mountains and go back to what they used to do. Go back to the gym. Go back to hard work. Remember when we talked about old men beating up the new class? This new style of fighting, this I want to protect my O, I want to protect my face. I know I sound like a jerk again, saying it again. I don't want to get touched. You have fighters like Victor Ortiz who literally told people, he didn't, I'm too pretty for this. What, are you shitting me right now? You got guys like Kel Brook threw the flag in on the first injury. Where was the heart? Where was the dedication in that fight? My high hurts. Fuck it. Throw in the towel. I got here. You got his three million on. Huh? That's reality. No, it is, and it's a reality that we're losing fans at a major, major pace. This last two Saturdays ago, that showed me big time, big time. That's listen, and don't anybody compare Andre Ward Kovalev to Mayweather Gotti because that is bullshit. Sergey Kovalev is no Arturo Gotti to this sport. If any of you know this sport, you know Sergey Kovalev was one of the baddest. If he was the baddest man in the light heavyweight division when Andre Ward faced him, this was a mega fight. This was not. Oh, this was Andre Ward's coming out party. Next time will be better. Bullshit. This was a superstar. Wait, here you go. From one day ago, here's how fucked up this is. Conor McGregor news tweeted Conor McGregor drew twice as many buys in one year than the entire sport of boxing in 2016 knew it was coming. wait it gets better the retweet has got 1856 with over with close to 5,000 likes okay now I'm looking for anything on boxing that even comes close in the last several days and there's there's nothing there's 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 nothing there's literally like nothing Dan Rayfield, the biggest name in our sport, also the biggest man in our sport, right? They, they killed him. Uh, nope, nothing he's written. Uh, nope, the grudge match uh, between Nick Blackwell, uh, Adonis Steven. Nope, that doesn't even come close. But let's keep going. I'm sure there's got to be somebody in our sport. Wait. Uh, did you hear what he nope. did? You want to know what's getting the most action what? for the WBC right now? A picture of Muhammad Ali and a picture of Bruce Lee shaking hands. That's got more attention. That's the than, era. <laughs> no, and I'm just telling you, I'm scrolling oh, through. No. Looking at, uh, nope. Uh, Katie Taylor, nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, Ruslan Podnikov, nope. Let's just keep going. Oh, wait, Katie Taylor again, still nope. This is all, just type in the word boxing. 
It's not hard to do on Twitter and look it all up. Wait, this has got action. What's this? Adam Saleh. New videos are up. Boxing. Okay. He, an amateur fight <laughs> being retweeted has got 597 retweets. Not a Dan Rayfield feel story. And that's pretty ridiculous. Katie Taylor's getting a little bit of action. Let's see. Tyson Fury, no action at all. Um... Uh, um, the networks nope. need to come together. The promoters hey, need to wait, come together. Hayes Baloo, uh, April 3rd, 2017, right? Just announced. They're just talking about general sales going on sale on Wednesday, which is today, right? 53 retweets for Hey uh, Baloo. Okay, so nobody gives a shit about that. Um, let's see. Steve Kim uh, is retweeting about Marco Barrera and Eric Morales. That's at least got 239 retweets. Like, I, there's nothing in boxing that's drawing nothing about Vasily Lomachenko getting any attention whatsoever on retweets. Uh, that's the reality. It is. No, it, it really is. And, and another thing that needs to quit, I think we've done we've, this whole jumping weight divisions, guys just trying to jump and, and get the biggest check they can. It, it's ruining the sport. It is Here's it, exactly, and I'm going to say this to everybody listening, this is exactly why ESPN is putting more effort into fake fighting, and I'm not going to belittle guys who do pro wrestling. They're tough son yeah, of a bitch. Yeah, sport. All right, sport. but it's a sport, okay, with a predetermined outcome. It's getting more action. Here it is, ESPN Boxing, putting out Lama Chico dominates, forces Walter to quit. 41 retweets, 77 likes. Are you fucking yeah, kidding me? Pound for pound, Lee. That's fucking ridiculous. I know it is. I've been seeing it, bro. This is why I'm, this is why we're talking like this today. The, if, the, Box, if boxing is dead, boxing is in a serious. We're we're definitely uh, on a flat line right now. Yeah, I'm not saying we're totally dead, but you know what? We're gonna, we need to apply CPR here soon. Better pull out the jumper, man. Seriously. Well, no. If somebody asked me about the Kovalev Award weekend, what did I have the most fun watching? I was in Vegas. I was betting. I was gambling. I was there. I had my room. I was doing my shit. I was taking my photos. Where did I have the most fun? Uh, at Roy Jones' event on Friday. Hey, now, listen. I'll agree with you. Uh, I, I was having more fun listen. on Saturday watching amateurs do submission grappling, which is possibly the lamest visual thing you can look at live. <laughs> Like, legitimately, and I'm a grappler, okay? I am telling you from a visual standpoint, there were more people watching that, okay, and happy. People at Kovalev Ward, every, every eight, what was it, 13,000 seats? I'd say at least 10,000 people were unhappy with the decision. There were. You could hear the booze. It was audible, okay? And that's because we believe that every fight is fixed. We believe that every outcome is predetermined. We feel that boxing is no different than pro wrestling right now. Yeah, no, and and nobody's embracing yeah. it. Yes, it, we don't have a Conor McGregor. It, we need, you know, what boxing needs a Conor fucking McGregor. I'll say it, and nobody's gonna like this answer. We miss Floyd Mayweather. We do. Well, we miss it. We definitely miss his numbers right now. I mean, come on. He was the one that he was the one battling the UFC. He's like Floyd says, he's the number one fighter in both sports. When you really think about it, hey, everybody needs Floyd. Um, everybody, everybody needs Floyd right now. <laughs> um, everybody. And here's the reality. He's going to come back in May and fight on that first stupid weekend in May. Oh, uh, come back. Fight somebody. I'm here. Calm down. I'm here. All right. So All right. Floyd will be back the first weekend of May. I hear you fighting first nobody. In May. Right? He will be. He'll book it. He'll fight nobody, or at least somebody he can easily dominate. I don't care if it's Connor. I don't care if it's somebody with it. Like, he'll put a fight on that we know he can win. He will be favored. Okay? He will be favored at least 100 to 1 in this fight. And he'll still do a million buys minimum. That's the truth. And that's where our sport's at. 
We need That's these the hard- guys. We need these guys to fight a lot more, Lee. We need the the networks to stop acting like once you get one loss, it's over. Uh, I don't really know where he can go from here. Like, how many times did you hear that yesterday? Like, seriously, style.